Many of you messaged me because you've been struggling building a habit tracker in ClickUp simply because the tutorials that are out there are not interactive and just don't work with how habits are developed. Today, I'm going to show you how to build an interactive habit tracker right in ClickUp that's going to help you stack your habits easily. Hi, everybody. I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEvie.com and I'm a business efficiency consultant. And yes, we might be touching a little bit on to using ClickUp for personal use, but actually habit development also plays a really big role when scaling your business. A lot of you had reached out to me because they've been struggling building a habit tracker within ClickUp that's efficiently, easily usable and just fits into your everyday life. I'm going to show you how to set that up, but let's talk about habit tracking and the process of developing habits first and why so many of those habit tracker tutorials for ClickUp that are out there have not been working for you. Habits allow us to grow, but developing habits and doing something we haven't done before can be quite difficult. So to develop habits, Stacking habits has been the thing to really be able to add new habits. What are stacking habits? When you are stacking habits, you are attaching a new habit to an old habit. Now with that, building a habit tracker right in ClickUp is the perfect idea because you hopefully already have developed that habit of using your ClickUp. But also brushing your teeth and listening to a podcast. You hopefully already have developed the habit of brushing your teeth. Now you are stacking the other habit to it of listening to a podcast and educating yourself. See how that stacking now suddenly works and it becomes easier to actually develop a new habit. But with that, your habit tracking needs to be easy and integrated in your daily life or you're not going to keep up with it. And that's exactly what the big idea is around building a habit tracker right here in ClickUp. Some of the issues I have seen in other habit tracker tutorials right here on YouTube, manually tracking. You are wanting to figure out, are you sticking with a habit or are you not sticking with a habit? Having to manually track that progress, nightmare. Same with you are wanting to focus on a specific habit. Let's just say working out every day. Not recommended, give yourself three days a week and then build up on that, but that's a whole nother story. You are wanting to focus on how did you develop this one habit? It's not about daily habits and tracking all of them. You're gonna get lost in that and feel bad really fast if you are not sticking with one of those habits and then your whole daily habit tracking just goes out the window. So with that, let's head on over to uh, my sandbox and I'm going to show you how you really can build an interactive, efficient and usable habit tracker right here in ClickUp. Now, as you can see right here, we have a habits folder. It's one folder with literally just one list in there. If you want to build out on that setup, go for it. I literally just need one list in here to be able to build up on this and really track my habits. Now, as you can see, one task means one habit. That allows you to really focus on developing that one specific habit, but also tracking that one specific habit. So in this case, my main task is working out. Cool. Then we have the subtasks underneath with those specific workout dates. Now, here is where the magic starts to happen. If you are building this like that, you can easily just use your process field that automatically tracks for you how far in you are on your habit. And easily simply just choose the subtasks right in here so that you know, cool, I've done that workout, so I'm that many percent in. This is how we easily track habits right here in ClickUp without you having to move a bar or manually track your progress keeping up with your habits. First problem solved. 
Next problem is, what if you don't want to work out every single day? Because honestly, when you are starting with a workout habit, don't set the goal at seven days a week. Set the goal at three days a week so that you actually can build up on it and don't beat yourself up because you have a down day and you take a day off from the couch, right? Because we also need to keep our motivation in check. With that, this becomes really, really, really easy by simply setting up your subtasks. You build this template once just once, whichever habit that is. And for me to be easily be able to tell it's the first of the month or the fifth of the month, when do I actually need to do this? I decided to go through from one down all the way to 31 with that habit. Now, this is the initial template build because once you build that, you easily can duplicate that and then just say, you know what, on the 16th, I'm not going to work out on the 21. I'm not going to work out on the 25th. I'm not going to work out. So let's delete those days. That's how easy it becomes to adjust your habit tracker to your schedule. Having said that, here is another trick to really easily be able to set this up every single month and adjust it to your needs. As you can see, workout, I only set up six days for this. The final due date of the main habit is the last day of your month. So set it up for a month that has 31 days just to be sure it's all working fine. And then you set up your subtasks with those due dates and the time you actually want to implement this habit. That ensures that this habit ends up on your calendar too. And we'll get to this here in just a second. Now what happens is when we take this workout and we are simply duplicating this whole thing for the next month or you implement the template with all the due dates, you can do that too. Now you can make your life easier again for next month when you are choosing rather than February 28th for the end date, you choose March 31st. Now what happens is if you have the click apps turned on, there is a click apps called remap subtask due dates. You need to turn that on to have this feature. But now I can change the subtasks accordingly. And as you can see, this is why I said set it up for 31 days so that these days then in the end match with your numbers in your workout. You simply duplicate that, take out the workouts you don't want, and you are set up for the whole month. And again, simply just check off the workouts you have done and your automated progress bar will fill up all on its own. Now, here's a couple more pro tips when it comes to habit tracking right in ClickUp. Why I want you to set due dates and due time. Now, when you look in your calendar, you can see exactly when you are supposed to work out, which then also translates over into your Google Calendar and you can work straight out out there, time batching and time blocking your day, your week and your month. Now, little pro tip right here. Days change, schedules change. We all know that moving around your tasks and your workout in Google Calendar is a little bit iffy right now and doesn't translate over to ClickUp. So make sure if your workout schedule changes, you can simply go to your daily view, find your workout and just go move it around wherever you want it. And if you are curious about how I plan my week, I have a video for you right here. So make sure you check that out too. And if you are wanting to change around your schedule overall, simply because your daily schedule has changed and your daily workout is moving to a different slot altogether, simply do it right in here and adjust it accordingly so that when you duplicate it again, you are ready to go and it's right then and there how you need it. Now, I know a lot of you love the board view and once you jump into the board view with this, it all looks a little bit weird. To easily use your habit tracker right here in board view, simply show your subtasks as separate tasks and then sort the whole thing by due date. Now, what's going to happen is your due dates are going to move up high. So with that, you were easily seeing your daily habits right then and there. And with that, you easily can take your daily habit, move it over into complete and be done if you like the board view 
right here in ClickUp. And you easily actually can use this setup on your phone too. Simply by going into your app, then going into your home view, going into your calendar, finding that specific habit that you just took care of, which should be in your calendar because you set a due date and a due time, no problem whatsoever. You then simply open up that SAP task and change it to complete. That easy. And you can do the same thing straight up from my work again, because you have set a due date and a due time. It's right in your work, open up the task, mark it done, and there you go. It is even easy in the mobile app. And this is how you build a habit tracker within ClickUp that is interactive, easy to work, and will support you in developing those habits that you want to develop. And if you want to know more how I plan my week between Google Calendar and all my ClickUp tasks, easily and simple. Go watch the video I got for you. I explain everything right in there and this habit tracker fits perfect with that. And have you subscribed yet? I want to see you in the next video.